itching, redness, vomiting, tiredness. These all sound like normal symptoms of a common cold or a flu, the chicken pox even. But what happens when your throat closes? You can no longer breathe. That is the fear that my family lives with every day. Today I was preparing my speech demonstrating how to recycle. I was sitting at my desk typing when I looked next to me at my pen holder. Mixed in with my pens was my EpiPen trainer for my son Toby. I realized I had a much better demonstration to give that could be of much more use to everyone. Most people have no idea what to do if their child is having an allergic reaction. It's a scary situation, but being prepared could save a life, not only of your family member, but you never know when somebody out in public could have an allergic reaction. When Toby was only a baby, he was about nine months old, he had his first reaction to peanuts. I was in the kitchen making peanut butter cookies and I took a break from cooking them and I went over and gave him a hug. Minutes later, literally just minutes later, his entire face was red. He had hives all over his face and hands and his neck. I took him to the ER because it was my first time ever seeing this. I had no idea what was going on and they immediately gave him Benadryl when I got there. Fortunately, this was a mild reaction because he didn't ingest anything, and he was fine after just a few minutes. From that day on, Toby's life and mine changed forever. Having a child with a peanut allergy is absolutely terrifying. Every label has to be checked, even if it's an item you've bought hundreds of times. His EpiPen follows him around wherever he goes. If he goes to Grandma's house, he has to have a pack with his EpiPen and with his Benadryl. To really understand an allergic reaction to peanuts, you have to know the symptoms. You have to know what to look for. There's mild symptoms, like having a cold, the runny nose, hives, redness, itching, tingling. For mild symptoms, a dose of Benadryl will usually be enough to stop the reaction. This is the liquid Benadryl that I keep in my son's pack for mild reactions. More severe symptoms are shortness of breath, wheezing, a repetitive cough, his throat will become tight and hoarse, the child will have trouble breathing, there may be swelling of the mouth, tongue, or lips. Hives can spread all over the entire body, not just the face and hands, so you have to check everywhere. The heart will also be affected if it goes on long enough and a weak pulse will follow. If any of these symptoms are present, you must immediately inject the epinephrine and then call 911. Now I'm going to show you how to use an EpiPen. So there's a big difference. This is the actual EpiPens. These are the ones that have the medication in it. This is the trainer that I will be using to demonstrate. So the first thing you have to do is remove the blue safety release by pulling straight up without bending or twisting it. So you have to deliver the epinephrine to the thigh. So you have to swing and firmly push the orange tip against the outer thigh so it clicks and holds on the thigh for at least 10 seconds for safe delivery of the drug. You have to use enough force that it does inject, but not enough that you'll hurt the child. So, and then you hold it for 10 seconds, and then the tip will be extended after use. After the injection, try to keep the person lying flat. Raise their legs if you can and try to keep them warm. If the person is vomiting, or having severe trouble breathing, try to prop them up on their side so that they don't have any more issues. I personally have been lucky enough to never have to give my son an EpiPen injection. However, I need to stay vigilant and be prepared to give that injection. It could happen anytime, anywhere. You may never come across someone 
who has a severe allergic reaction, but now you know how to react and help, and you know what to do if you see it happening out in a public place. EpiPens are truly lifesavers. Being prepared and knowing how to use one could save a life. If you have any questions about allergic reactions or how to use an EpiPen, feel free to comment on this post. Thank you for watching my demonstration.